Hello and welcome to Melossa, a unique YouTube channel where you'll find tons of interesting and unique canine content. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and feel free to leave a comment on any of our videos. Hello everyone, we are back again to talk about another dog breed that is much loved by owners worldwide. We will first introduce a short introduction about what dog breeds are and then give you a thorough introduction to today's breed, Tibetan Mastiff. You will also learn about its history, lifestyle, maintenance, and lifespan. So let's get started. People have been breeding dogs since prehistoric times. The very early dog breeders used wolves to make domestic dogs. From the start, humans bred dogs purposefully to fulfill different tasks such as herding, guarding, and hunting. These are thought to be the earliest jobs assigned to dogs, an animal that would later be called man's best friend. And soon, breeding was done to make dogs cute little pets as well so that they could fit in more like family members and far less for hunting and guarding. Let us now introduce you guys to today's dog breed that is Tibetan Mastiff. Because of the isolation of this dog breed's country of origin and the lack of written breeding records, the sleek history of this dog breed is mixed with mystery. We sure do know that Tibetan Mastiff has been one ancient breed in Central Asia for hundreds and thousands of years. The Tibetan Mastiff breed was first introduced to the Western world in 1847 when it was brought to England and entered the Kennel Club's first stud book. It wasn't unheard of to pay more than $200,000 for a Tibetan Mastiff puppy in China during the mid-2000s when it was a great must-have dog for the status conscious. Currently, the dog isn't as popular overseas, and some parts of China have even abandoned the breed. Tibetan Mastiff needs extra handling and care. Early intensive socialization is a must with the Tibetan Mastiff. This is because any improperly socialized Tibetan Mastiff has the potential to become a liability once they grow up. You can introduce your Tibetan Mastiff puppy to as many people as possible. Additionally, introduce them to places, animals, etc. While keeping interactions positive and going at the dog's pace. Along with careful socialization, a few Tibetan Mastiff find it quite hard to accept strangers and strange animals, mainly those that enter the dog's area. Most Tibetan Mastiffs, mainly the ones that get enough socialization, are more relaxed and accepting of strangers when they are off their property. As this breed is huge, exercise for young adults and puppies should be approached with enough caution. Because of the Tibetan Mastiff's huge frame and heavy weight, and the predisposition to hereditary joint issues such as hip dysplasia, repeating exercises such as jumping or jogging must be limited or avoided wholly until the dog is around 2 years old and completely mature. Tibetan Mastiffs are very easy to groom. Its profuse coat sheds a lot little other than its seasonal shed time where they just blow coat losing almost entire of their undercoat in only a few weeks. During the heavy shed season, frequent brushing and only a few baths will help. But you must expect hair all around you. In addition to this coat care and bathing, your dog must have regular tooth brushing and nail trimming. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel.